Hi everyone, welcome to my crazy crafty life. Today I have a really big Dollar Tree haul, so let's jump into it. Okay, so I have a ton of fall items to show you, so let's uh, let's go. <laughs> this thing is not a fall item, but I found more of these Kleenex travel tissues, the 10 packs. I always pick these up because they come in handy and I love to keep them in my car. So anytime I see them, I'll pick up a couple packs. And these are an amazing deal for $1.25. The next item that I picked up were these little um, travel dressing containers. And... Um, I just wanted to put some honey in here in for my lunchbox because the, I was using the container that the honey came in and I'm finding that it's leaking everywhere. So I wanted to try these and see if these would be better. Not sure, but I figured I'd give them a shot. Um, another thing I found that's not fall is this hat. It's a knitted hat. It says Ohio. And I thought it was really cute. Um, I don't even know if I've been to Ohio. I know that last year when I traveled across country, I drove through a lot of different areas. Um, and I literally cannot remember. <laughs> That's how many places we went. Um, yeah, so I have to go back into my pictures and see all the places. But I still liked it. And I love the color. They had a ton of them that said Ohio in different colors. Um, I know some people have hauled other areas, and for whatever reason, my location only had the ones from Ohio. <laughs> How many times am I going to say that word? I don't know. <laughs> Jumping into the fall items, I found these. They've had these before. I love these little pumpkins. They come with the clips. If you don't want the clips, they come off pretty easily. I found a bunch of clings and um, I'm going to show them. This one says hello fall. This one has glitter on it. It's really cute. Um, this one says give thanks and I love, I love the different pumpkins. I'm not a big orange for the fall. So this is, um, this is just the right amount in my opinion. Um, and then I love these little ones because I figured I could make signs for a tiered tray and I loved the sayings on them. These also have glitter. Um, the one I showed before does not. This one has no glitter. This one does. Um, then I found this fox one with no glitter, not just fox, but you have a little hedgehog here or porcupine. I'm not even sure. This guy and then very nursery for me, but very cute if you have a little one you want to decorate their room in like a forest theme. Um, and then I got another one of these because I thought they were cool. And then I think this one might be my favorite. Um, this one has no glitter, um, but I just love leaves are falling, autumn is calling. I love that one. Um, everything here, there's almost no orange at all in this one, so I love it. Um, and then there's this one, which is similar. This one has a little bit of glitter, but not a ton. But these are so, so cute. And I love the apples. I like to do apples in September and then Halloween for October and then like the pumpkins in November. So, so it's kind of like all different each month. Um, then I liked... I'm not sure how I feel about this truck. I mean, I like it, but it seems very cartoony to me. So this one says gather, really nice. And that is it for the clings. They do have other ones. They had more like puffy ones and stuff. Uh, I don't really get those. I like to get the regular clings for crafts. Um, next is not a fall item, but I was surprised to find it. And it's the floral that they had for the spring with the butterfly. And I just like these flowers so, so much. So I wanted to get more from my collection. And um, next item that I found is very exciting. I found the apple pie sign. Um, they also had cherry 
pecan and pumpkin pie. I like the apple, like I said, in September, I really like to get um, apple going for the fall. Um, I'm, I probably should have gotten the pumpkin one at least, um, but I did get the apple one. I really like it. I don't know if I want to hang it up or maybe turn it into a magnet for the fridge. I may actually do that. Um, but I like it. It's, it's got a, like a shadow box. Um, I wonder if you could do like something inside and do a shadow box, um, for like Halloween and then turn it back over. I might actually have to do that because I think that's a great idea. I'm really into the reversible crafts, especially for fall because of Halloween. Um, that way you don't have to have a ton of decorations um, for both. I mean, I do have plenty, but um, I like the reversible idea just because it's easier. Just turn it around and then, yeah. <laughs> um, next items are not really fall items um this one's lip balm it says it's called sweater weather and they had other flavors but i really loved this one it's, but it does say vitamin e hydrating nourishing so oh vanilla mint there it is i found it <laughs> so yeah so i'm i'm curious what this will be like um i love all of the dollar tree um lip balms I find that they work really well so um and then some more items I found these placard gentle slides um I usually just buy the green ones but somebody mentioned that these are amazing so I wanted to give them a try so I picked those up um and then I picked up uh some cotton swabs really boring but I needed to refill mine um the next item, I got toothpicks. I like to craft, I use toothpicks when I'm crafting a lot. So I picked up the 500 pack and then I found more of these and I hadn't picked these up. I know they've had these, but these are kind of like the, I don't know, under the sea, would you say? Um, but I do love the, um, I love the patterns and the different shapes they have. Um, and I just thought they were cute, so, and these might be actually really fun to scrapbook with, and I was, my phone shows me, like, old pictures, and I did go to Mystic Aquarium a few years back, so if I decide to scrapbook that trip, which I really want to, I may use some of those, because, um, we went to an aquarium. <laughs> I picked up another calendar, and it's this one, it's the home sweet home I don't even remember if I picked this up last time but I did pick this up and it's got the pig it's got bananas it's got all different things the orchard apples which I feel like they've already done something very similar last year um, which is probably what steered me from not getting it so but I did pick it up because I thought the images were cool and I especially love this one and the, the cover is really nice Um, let's see. They had this last year, but I picked it up again because I think they're very pretty. And it's the sunflower. It's metal. It's really cute. You can put it in an arrangement. Um, so, or if craft with it, there's a lot you could do. It is the Crafter Square brand. Um, so I think that's what they intend for people to do with it. Um, and the next thing I found was for Halloween, and it was this ghost, and I love how he's galvanized and um, this, like, corrugated metal. I love that. Um, I don't believe they've ever done this. I know they've done just plain metal, but not the corrugated, and I thought this was really cool, so. Um, let's see. Uh, they've had these before, but I did pick up some of the ornaments. You get eight in here. And I love the ghosts. I don't know why, but the ghosts always get me. <laughs> they had the other ones, the, the jack-o'-lanterns, the cats, um, and the ghosts. And was there another one? Oh, the hats, the witch's hats. Yes. Can't forget those. <laughs> and then I found this um, transfer sticker. It says ghouls just want to have fun 
thought it was really, really adorable. So I picked that up. I think they've had that before too. Um, the next items that I got are, well, I got this truck. Last time I showed a different truck. So if you see my video from last week, um, this one's just a little bit different. It has more of like a purplish hue and I thought it was really pretty. So I picked that up. Um, then I picked these up and I saw them last time and I thought I'd pick them up, but I didn't see them in my bag. So I got them. These are hanging signs. These would be adorable in a wreath, which I may do. Um, yeah, they're very cute. I like these. Um, and then this is not new. They've had these, but I absolutely love these pumpkins and I had the hardest time last year finding them. I didn't find them till like really late in the season, but I found them this time very early in the season. So that's really awesome because these are fun to craft with. Um, and then I found like this big leaf and I kind of liked how it had this, like, I almost want to just use it just as is because it's so cute like this. Um, but you could also use the other side if you prefer that and stain it, whatever you want. So I don't know. It's really cool though. I kind of like it. I don't think they intended to do that, but it works for me. Um, and then I found this turkey and it's the same thing. And I, oh, I really love this. I don't know if I want to change him. He looks so cool like this. So yeah, I like it. I don't like the back, however. The back looks kind of bad, but I may have to paint over that or something just so that it doesn't look like that. But how cool is this guy? And they weren't all like that. So I just thought it was unique enough that I wanted to show it. Um, then I found some cool things. Um, I found the uh, faux leather words, which I thought was really cool. Um, and I found the faux leather leaves. And I know I have another one in here somewhere, but these are the ones, one of the ones that I found. And I love these. They're so cool. And then I found some fabric. I love this one. It has sunflowers and pumpkins. It is orange. It's kind of like a yellowish orange though. It's really pretty. Um, and then they have like this matching plaid, which I love. Again, it's kind of like a golden yellow. It's not really orange. Um, and then they had this one, which has the trucks, which is really hard to see. Um, let's see if I can open it real quick. So it looks like this. Yeah, so you get two. You get the back of the truck, you get like this back of the truck, and you get the front of the truck. Oh, you get a whole bunch of views of that. And then you get some pumpkins in between. That's really cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love Dollar Tree. Can you tell? <laughs> Um, then I found these. These are definitely not new, but I love the buffalo check. Not into the orange so much, but I might, maybe I'll alternate them or something. I don't know, but these are really cool. And they're plain on the back. If you wanted to do something else on the back, um, you could. Um, and then I found this llama. I, I prefer to call them alpacas because I love alpa alpacas, even though they're like cousins, <laughs> but he's so cute. Look at a little iron-on patch. And I know that's very random. <laughs> very, very random. Um, another thing I found was I was shocked that Dollar Tree has gotten this in. It's from Styleworks and it's Nail Enamel Dryer fast drying and I really wanted to try and see if it works because I'm not a patient person when I paint my nails which is why I don't do it very often because most of the time I'll smudge one at least one if not more because I'm so impatient so then I found these sunflowers you get six 
and I thought these are very, very cute, especially for crafting. Um, I found this little paint set, which is the back of a truck, and I absolutely love this. I may not use the paint, I don't know, um, but I absolutely love this truck, and it says Happy Harvest. It's so adorable. Um, yeah, I don't think they really give you enough paints. I mean, you could do the truck this color, but I just feel like you could do a much nicer job using your own paints or markers. Um, and then I found these gnome stickers. How cute are these? Oh my gosh, I have to take them out because I don't want you to see a glare. I really don't. Uh, if I can get them out. No, no, no. Oh my goodness. <gasps> no, don't ruin my stickers, you stupid packaging. Okay. Look how cute these are. Oh my gosh, these are so freaking cute. Do you see that? He's holding a little, it looks like a Starbucks cup. Oh my gosh. And they're, and they're dimensional. So you can see, I can stick my finger back there. And it says thankful on the bottom. Oh, grateful and very thankful and fall. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. I love these. <laughs> I am definitely going to have to use these in a craft or two. I don't remember which haul it was, but I did show these. Um, but I found some with the little holes because I wanted to use them like this for like greenery and stuff. I figured these could help you kind of arrange them the way you want. I don't know. At least that's what I was thinking. Or for salt and pepper in the kitchen. I know a lot of people use those. So, um, And then I found Happy Harvest. I love this sign. It's gorgeous. I don't remember if I got it last time and I was like, I'm not even going to take the chance because I love this one. I love the plaid in the gray and the Happy Harvest. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, what a great find that is. And then I found this one with the sunflowers and it says welcome and it has the metal leaf. How cute is that? I love it. So, so cute. And you know I'm going to say cute like a thousand times in this video. <laughs> While we're on the topic of signs, I found the hot apple cider sign. And I feel like this sign is a classic. It is from last year, but it is such a good sign. And I had to get it again. Then I found this one that says happy harvest, thankful. Um... All are welcome, gather together, fall greetings and blessings. I love this sign. I think it's gorgeous. Um, it's definitely something I might put in my entry somewhere, but it's very cute. I love this. Um, and then this is a repeat also. Um, this one, Farm Fresh Blessed, kind of looks like a chalkboard. But it's not. It's just one of their regular signs. And you do get a metal leaf. Um, great thing about those is you could probably paint them or distress them or do whatever you want. Um, and then I found these, which I know a lot of people love. And I I love, I love them too. Fall, hay rides, apple orchard, pumpkin pie. And then this one says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And I like these as a set for sure. They definitely go together. All right. Okay, another Halloween item I found was this little headband. I even thought about wearing it for the haul, but I didn't. I, I will probably hold off until I find more Halloween items. But I thought this was adorable. How cute is that? Um, and then I found the candy corn trees. What are these? Um, yeah, Halloween trees, what they're calling them, but they look like candy corn. So I was very excited to find this one. They did have others, but I, I'm, I love candy corn. So <laughs> I thought these were adorable. Um, let's see. Oh, here are the other, um, faux leaves. The 
leather leaves. These are really cute. The other ones were skinnier, and I think they were a different color, maybe, or not. I don't know where they went. Once I show things, there's no guarantee where they end up. Okay. Yep, I just knocked over a whole bunch of stuff. Yay. Next, I found some leather pumpkins. And I really don't like the bigger leather pumpkins, but I thought the little ones were cute. So I picked those up. And these are great. They have the clips in the back too, so you can use them with the clips or not. And I like the metallic stems as well. Really cool. And then I found these little pumpkins, which they've had before. These are not new, but I thought they were cute. And I found more faux leather words, and I kind of like how um, like tan these are. These are really cool. These to me look really good, like real leather. And I think you get blessed, thankful, and hold on, you get thankful. Oh, you get two blessed and two thankfuls. Okay. All right. So it's not like the metal ones where you get the welcome too. So. Um, and then this one, I got this little ornament and it says fall is my favorite color. I really like this. I may even have to use this in my kitchen. I don't know yet. Um, one of my favorite things to do with these is make the magnets and put them on my fridge. So, yeah, I thought that was really cute. I love the green, too. I picked up more fabric. Um, I picked up this, like, plain orange, yellow, the sunflowers, um, this lavender color. These are all plain, this pink one. And they've had those, but I picked them up because they're good staples to have. Um, then I picked up this blue fabric with the gnomes, and I thought this was adorable. There's no place like gnome. <laughs> so, so cute. Look at the gnomes. Uh, you guys know, or you should know, that I am obsessed with gnomes. So anytime I see fabric like that, of course I'm going to pick that up. And then this one just has mushrooms, which... I'm not even sure this is my thing, but if you're looking for something fall to, to match your other fabrics, this would be probably a cute idea. Um, I mean, there's so many choices there, you could probably make a quilt. Um, then I found these little envelopes. I only found two different styles. This one says autumn. And this one has like a gap, so you could actually put some greenery or something in there, some faux leaves maybe, and really dress it up. Um, and then this one says Hello Autumn, so they're similar, but they're not the same. But either way, they're both really cute, um, and the tops are exactly the same. So, But you could change up the beads too if you wanted to. Um, and then... One of the things I found kind of random, but um, it was by this brand. It's a head head wrap is what they call it. And it's the strawberry pattern. And I thought it was really cute. I don't know. I would probably wear this, but probably around the house. I probably wouldn't wear it out necessarily. Um, it's very thin, but I mean, that's good if you don't want anything bulky. So then I picked up some magnets because I did need them for a DIY. Um, then I picked up the little sunflowers, really cute. Um, I picked up more of this ribbon. Every time I see it, I have to pick it up. This was in the fall, but they did have it in the Halloween as well. Um, I do love the, um, ribbon that Dollar Tree carries, um, like this. You don't get a whole bunch. It's only nine feet, but still it's good for any DIY. Um, and then I found this black chalkboard paint, which they've had forever, but they did re just recently restock. 
the craft wise. Um, it's really good paint. Um, and then they restocked more of this pouring medium, which I was very excited because last time they had it, which was last year, around the fall-ish time, I don't know, maybe around this time, they, I could only find two. So they had just restocked it. So if you're still looking and haven't been able to find it, I found more. Um, and then I found this basket, which they only had one, and I need a bunch of them because I think I had said I was going to use the plain waste baskets for my florals, but I changed my mind. I actually saw somebody use these and I really love it. And I have like a, a rack I want to hang them on. So, um, and the rack is white, so I wanted to keep the black. So I thought these were really cool and I only found the one. So um, I know I have more around the house, but I don't know if I have enough for this project, but we'll see. Either way, I was excited I found one at least. Last time I showed these um, books, but I missed one. So there were four different kinds and I showed three. So this one has the apple and it says Welcome Autumn and I love that. It has the ribbon. Now what I noticed about the ribbon is that this is painted and then this is an actual ribbon here. I most likely would change this. I would not leave it like this, but... Um, yeah, I just thought I'd point that out. Um, but it's really cute, and you could totally change it for whatever ribbon you want. So, really cute. All right, I found cotton stems, definitely not new. But um, these look really good. I love these. And I definitely love making arrangements with these, so I picked some up. Um, I found little velvet pumpkins in the blue and the gray. I think I found more too, but they're not in this bag. Um, and then I found these fall stickers, which I'm pretty sure I've seen before, but I picked them up just in case because I wasn't 100% sure if it was the same exact. But this truck looks really familiar to me, but they're really pretty. Um, let's see. Then I found this like wood grain pumpkin and I really like this one. I really, really do. Um, I think at one point in my life I would say I wasn't really into this, but I really do like this. Um, I found the bigger velvet pumpkin in this blue color. I love this color. I think they had a darker color last year. I love this lighter color and this stem is everything. This does not look like a Dollar Tree pumpkin at all. Um, and then I found the burlap leaves, which I love. I'm loving doing different textures and things. So I think with the, the faux leather and the burlap, I think I'm going to have a good variety. And then I found these little pumpkin shaped and, um, I'm definitely gonna do something with the Cricut on these. I like that they're not stark white, that they kind of have a little bit of a brown-ish tint, um, like an antiquing almost. It's almost like they did all of the work for you. It's perfect. I would not change that, not, it, not even a little bit. So picked those up for my tear tray. Um, let's see. Then I picked up some of these florals. I love the little sunflowers. They have them in other colors, but the white sunflowers are my favorite, especially these little tiny ones. I love them. Then I picked up this um, picture. I just really like it. It looks like an expensive painting that I had seen on Etsy a while back. It's not the same, but it looks very similar, the colors and all. And I just kind of saved a picture of it to my like background on my computer and um but then when I saw this I was like oh my gosh it looks a little bit like it it's not exactly but I was like wow that looks so nice so I picked this up probably for my craft room or my office like desk area I don't know we'll see um I found these vases which I love it it looks very modern and very 
I don't know, maybe farmhouse modern, but it's very cool. It's got a pattern to it. Um, it's really neat. Um, then I found this double-sided little thing. Easel? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and I thought it would be fun to put something on it with the Cricut or those stickers that I found. That would be really fun. Um, and then I found these little um, hair clips, which I love this. It does look like candy corn. Somebody had mentioned that. And I was like, ooh, I need to see if I can find them, especially for the fall. I definitely like these, though. They're very cute as well. Um, then I found something that I, I haven't seen anyone haul yet. So I was a little surprised um, and ecstatic, um, but I found little wood keychains. This one's a little car, little race car. And this one's a teddy bear. Look at, even the back has the little tail. <laughs> and then I found a robot. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. <laughs> So, so, so cute. Look at that. I was so excited. Um, and then I found a flower, which I thought was really cute too. So something for everyone. Oh, stop moving. And even the back of the flower also has. So if, if you paint both sides, no matter which side it turns on, you'll see um, the details. And I just thought those were amazing. Uh, more fall items. So I found these pink little um, pumpkins and I found the bigger ones. I love the pink pumpkins, the velvet. Um, I think they might have had this color last year. I don't remember. I know they had a burgundy, which I got, and I think they did have the pink, but I could it was really hard to find them, so I don't think I got a lot of those. Um, they also had the bigger ones in the gray, which I loved. And then I found this fall bucket list. And they had other ones, but this one's really cute. Carve pumpkins, go apple picking, jump in the leaves, go on a hayride, bake a pie, and give thanks. And I loved the buffalo check on the side. Very cute. Um, you could take the ribbon off or leave it either way, hang it up, make a floral arrangement, um, which is probably what I'm going to do with this. Uh, very cute. And then the very last item that I found, oh wait, no, there, I lied. There's one more thing. I found these pink like candle holders and it looks like you can do like a stick here and then flip or flip it and use this. I don't really know. I kind of saw them and I don't remember anybody hauling these, but I love the rose color of it. So I don't know if I'm going to try to do a DIY with them, use them as is. I have no idea, but I thought they were interesting enough that I wanted to pick up a couple of those. Um, and then the very last, last item is another patch. It's the rainbow one. And I picked that one up. Uh, because I thought it was cute and went well with the little alpaca one I showed earlier. Well, that is it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like and comment down below. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I really would love to have you here. Click the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.